Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I'm an educator at the Water Resources Education Center in Vancouver, Washington. Today, we're going to learn about watersheds. So what exactly is a watershed? Well, simply put, it's an area of land that channels water into streams, rivers, and even underground. A watershed is contained within hills, mountains, and other high areas of land. These high points are called divides. Gravity pulls water to the lowest point of land where it's stored and continues through the water cycle. So how does a watershed tell a story? Here in Clark County, we have 10 major watersheds covering 656 square miles. Watersheds contain bodies of water such as rivers, creeks, and lakes. The rivers and creeks have a beginning, middle, and end, just like a story. Rivers begin at their headwaters, flow into the middle section called the trunk, and end their journey at the mouth, where they drain into a large body of water such as a lake or the ocean. Many rivers have smaller rivers that join along the trunk called tributaries. Tributaries are like subplots in the story of the land. They tell their own tale and add much to the main story. So what are the characters in the watershed story? Some of the characters that affect the health of the watershed include upland land use, impervious surfaces, stormwater runoff, and tree canopy cover. Let's explore each of these characters in a bit more detail. Upland land use refers to how people or animals use the land in the upstream portion of the watershed. These activities affect the health of the watershed. If pollutants such as pesticides or animal waste wash into the creek, the creek will carry and spread that pollution downstream. Impervious surfaces and stormwater runoff are characters in our watershed story that work hand in hand. Impervious surfaces include roadways, rooftops, and parking lots, which act as barriers that prevent rainwater from getting through. Stormwater runoff occurs when rain falls on these surfaces and washes into the nearest stream or river, picking up pollutants along the way. Our hero character in the watershed story that can help address the problems created by upland land use, impervious surfaces, and polluted stormwater runoff is canopy cover. Canopy cover refers to the leaves, branches, and stems that provide cover to the ground from precipitation and the sun. Trees and other vegetation help keep land and water surfaces cooler, which in turn can slow evaporation and localize drought impacts. But it's not just the canopy that's a hero in this story. All plants save the day. Plant roots protect waterways by preventing soil erosion, absorbing and storing water to lessen flooding, and taking up excess nutrients, such as phosphorus and nitrogen, that can come from many land uses. Watersheds are exciting and dynamic places, each with their own story to tell. All of Clark County's watersheds have the same cast of characters that you learned about today and each character plays a special role in that watershed's landscape. Join us next time as we explore the story of the Burnt Bridge Creek Watershed. I hope to see you there.